In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We call to mind our sins as we ask the Lord for pardon and strength, for failing perhaps in our efforts and our struggle to go against the forces of evil and darkness in the world, around us, about us, within us. And so we ask for God's mercy, forgiveness, and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help so that defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Iconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus, and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker, and the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this, and rushed out into the crowd, saying, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. 
we proclaim to you good news that you should turn from these idols to the living God who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagans say, Where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not, Not to us, us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. In the life of Jesus, even before he was born, right into his birth, into his public life in ministry, and in the early church, we see a pattern resisting, running counter to basically what was proclaimed. In the light of today's first reading, we see that there was an attempt in Iconium 
by both the Gentiles and the Jews together with their leaders to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. In today's gospel, we have this. Um, the advocate, or rather whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves them. But the one who loves the Lord will be resist, resisted by forces. Forces around us, out there, and even within us. When we come to think out all these forces resisting and running counter, we think like perhaps they are just the ordinary events constituting what normally life is all about. But in and through our faith, in, in our discerning disposition or spirit, in our discerning heart, we know it from Jesus himself, that there are forces of darkness and powers of evil running counter to what is true and good and righteous. And so the battle rages on. We call it spiritual battle or spiritual warfare. In this light, we need a discerning heart, a discerning disposition, and ask the Lord, the Spirit, for strength to continue engaging in the battle so that at the end of the day when we have an awareness, consciousness examine, we know how much perhaps we won or how much perhaps we lost. This is very, very important in our spiritual journey. Why? Because in the end, those who will, each one of us in the light of our faith needs to engage in this battle. And with God, we will make it. With God assuring us that even the powers and the gates of hell shall never or can never prevail. With God, like the martyrs and the saints, we will be victorious. With our blessed mother, with Saint Joseph, with the angels and the saints, all helping us. God's word, the sacraments, the church. We continue with our prayers. We continue to pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for all bishops throughout the world, priests, deacons, lay people engaging in whatever ministry or ministries in the church, that each day they will be truly spirit-filled and spirit-led in proclaiming the good news of salvation, in healing the world, in bringing God's love and mercy. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. We pray for all those in great trials and difficulties, in pains and sufferings, those in particular victims of this pandemic crisis in the world, and those who are working uh, in order to bring about the much needed healing, that they will have God's protection and help. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, for peace in our hearts. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those seeking the faith, for those who are struggling in the way of faith, that they will persevere in their search, knowing that it's the Lord that is seeking for them, knowing that if they continue in their efforts, in the end, they will be one in the spirit of the Lord. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in this great Easter season as we prepare for the day of Pentecost, that all of us and the entire humanity will be more and more 
are set on fire as in the day of Pentecost. Oh God, for the healing of our world, for the renewal of everything and everyone in Christ, for this we pray to the Lord. For all those who don't gone before us, for the forgotten ones, those who need most of God's mercy, the souls in purgatory, those who have nobody now praying for them. In particular, we pray for Eduardo Hunting, for his eternal rest, and for all their eternal rest. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for all our other intentions for today and for every day in particular, for all those who are asking for our prayers, for those, for all those whom we promise to pray for, that God will answer our prayers deep in the depths of each one of us. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord all this, Heavenly Father, we ask to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through you, James, we have received you. The bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through you, James, we have received you. The wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord is the sacrifice and praise <clears throat> for the praise and glory of His name, for the good of all our holy church. We our prayers rise up to you, Lord, together with sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness. We may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through who cries our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously with Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, an integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, Every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Santus, Santus, Santus Dominus Deus Abaus, Lenes Terra. Gloria tua, O Sahana in eternity, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, O Sahana in excel. 
see. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly in his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you will drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith we proclaim on your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have been worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and in him and with him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I with you, my peace I do you. Look, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. On your day, sweet Holy Spirit, come on me. Miserere no be. On your day, sweet Holy Spirit, come on me. Miserere no be. On you stay, we call this Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called of the suffer of the Lamb. Communion and before. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you, says the Lord. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life, in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of his Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of his saving food. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ, be one in His Spirit.